Hey guys, in earlier reports, we saw that Samsung is going to postpone the Galaxy S21 FE to Q4 2021. And it is understandable because the chip shortage has affected all the industries. Samsung is among the endless list of companies of being hit by the shortage of the chipsets. And the Galaxy S21 FE smartphone is the latest victim. Earlier this month, Samsung denied rumors of the late arrival of the phone, although the company did not sound confident in its statement. Today, new report arrives from South Korea revealing the launch has been postponed from early August to October, and there will be limited availability on top of that. It means Galaxy S21 FE will appear initially only in the United States and Europe. The company is even not launching the phone in its hometown, South Korea and other markets like Asia, Canada, Australia and Japan. But the maximum fans are from these markets, don't know what strategy Samsung is using. The Samsung Galaxy S21 FE expected to be more affordable flagship in the sea of 1000 plus smartphones. I think that this strategy will not gonna work because the S20 FE was a huge hit in this market last year and the fans are expecting the sequel of it. Industry insiders revealed Samsung considered total shutdown of the production of the S21 FE but due to the popularity of the FE series, the South Korea market decided to go for a limited quantity. The company was quoted that this direction is only one of many considered and nothing is final yet. And here are some official leaked images of the Galaxy Buds 2. These images are published by 91 Mobiles. Samsung will unveil the Galaxy Buds 2 in August alongside the Galaxy Z Flip 3, Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Galaxy Watch 4. The design of the Galaxy Buds 2 appears to have inspired by the Galaxy Buds Pro. It features a rounded square case and a curved earbuds, similar to the Galaxy Buds Pro. However, Samsung seems to have picked a dual tone color combination for the Galaxy Buds 2. All the color variants feature the white color on the case exterior, but the interior and the earbuds themselves come in black, green, purple or white. The case has two LED charging indicators, one on the outside and the other on the inside. The Galaxy Buds 2 seems to feature at least two microphones on each earbud, an IR-based wear detection sensor, and the pogo connectors for charging. They are being expected to feature Bluetooth 5.0, AKG-tuned audio, capacity touch controls, wireless charging, and a companion app for the customization controls and audio profiles. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section. For that said, subscribe if you like and I will see you in the next one.